Oh, Rocketeers. Hey, hey. What was that? I interrupted you. It was everybody. It's Friday night. And... Yeah, it's Friday, finally. <laughs> Friday night. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, uh, let's do this real quick. Hi, DA. We got Dennis Angel. We got Jay. Jennifer. Me. I did buy the first round. The first round's on me. There's drinks at the bar for y'all. And did you see my message about they're all on you for me tonight? I haven't even <laughs> looked. Then I, got robbed, I got tied up with all of the Coburger documents. Um, I'm, I'll, yeah. I'll see it here in just a minute. But <laughs> I'm on C and Janet and Tina. And... Okay. Hey, JR. Hi, buddy. Hi, Tom. And yes, Tina, we're drinking. There's Melly Mac and Leanne. Hey, yes. Yes, we are going to see the body cam footage from... January 27th of 2020 and hear the 911 calls. She she called the 911 the 911 number and then they transferred her to the non-emergency number, which I still don't understand. Hi Melly Mac. Because for some dumb reason, a missing kid apparently isn't an emergency. It's crazy. Hi, Happy Cheyenne. Uh, Selena. And I think that is all. Well, that's all it's on the screen, though. Right. And if we missed anybody, our apologies and we promise we will do our best to recognize Hi Mo. You. Hi, Mo. You're welcome, Janet. Um Wanda and I collaborate on this and I got it today and it is huge. There is, you know, it's everything that was admitted in court at the trial and then some, but a lot of it will not be shown. Uh, I accidentally stumbled on the, a picture that I'll never unsee. Um, so I will have to go through and edit out the photos. Um, and there, I mean, there's 1,500 pages and uh, uh, 25 gigabytes worth of stuff. Which we are not going to co cover completely tonight. <laughs> no, 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 all we're... All we're doing right now is, is the, the two phone calls and the body cam. Well, okay. I, say, I say two, but it's actually one of them that I transfer. Right. But that still counts as two. But you only have so many characters that you can put in the headline for it. So. And yep. I set them, set it up both ways in case one the one didn't work 
<laughs> We're learning. When the 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 bad thing about and this is just useless knowledge, but the bad thing about having to do it the other way instead of just being able to share your screen is depending on the size of the audio or the video that can literally add hours to a project whereas if i'm able to just share it you know straight from the doc dump you know it's so much simpler so much simpler um but we're you know we're doing what we can to to make a flow um and that's just how we do yep then i want to answer a quick question Mary, you have heard about this case. This is Letitia Stock, Gannon Stock Stepmother, the one we covered at the same time we were covering uh, Her Highness Daybell and just new information we got. Okay. I'm going to do this for just a drive through real quick. Just a drive through. Let me know if you all can hear this. If I hear it, um, no. Anybody in chat hear anything? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Nope. Well, that's actually another main one that I want to do tonight. So while we are listening to the other two i am going to start that process of making that video okay it's only 22 minutes long so okay just deal with me for just a second, guys. Oh, if we must. So let's see. If... Hi, everybody. I haven't said personally hi to. Thank you for being here. You're just, you're just fired up and ready to go tonight, aren't you? I'm I'm sorry. It it it's oh hold on I got a cough. I mean you got, you got me ready to stand up and start doing cheers. <laughs> Normally I'm your biggest cheerleader, dude, but <laughs> you got Tom and Peaches just, just is in the background. Just ain't film film it tonight, eh? Well, there's I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, everybody in here knows that I have fibromyalgia and friends and storms coming in. So I'm doing my best to try not to turn into a total Bish tonight. So I'll put on my happy face and I would do anything in the world for the docket. 
and for all the docketeers. So I'm telling you what, even if it's a prainy <laughs> night. <laughs> whoa. Okay, I heard that. <laughs> I'm, yeah, when, you, when I have to do it the hard way, trust me, it pops right, it jumps right off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Brooklyn. Best Friday night ever. The exact location of your emergency. Okay, so here's the original 911 call. And let me get rid of us. Oh, but and we're so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, uh, why see the, this uh, is what happens when these things go. <gasps> All right. I promise I will behave. Well, our banner runs behind. But, well, it'll go. So, anyway, here's the first call, y'all. All right. Um, I'm mute. Well, 6627 Mandan Drive, Colorado Springs. Full block. Okay, say that one more time. Make sure I have it here correctly. 6627 Mandan Drive. Okay, the phone number you're calling from? 843-655-7460. And your name? Tisha. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, so, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to call emergency or non emergency. emergency. Sorry, I can barely talk, but my son was supposed to be home at 6 o'clock and it's almost 7. And we went to like all his friend's house. He said he was going to be at his friend's house, and they said he wasn't there. And the other one said he never came there. Um, so I don't, I don't know any other people to call and ask. And I talked to my husband, so I told him how to call you guys as fast as I could because I don't, I don't know anyone else here that he could be. Okay. And I don't, I don't know if there's like a time limit, but like he's on, he's only 11. He's 11. 11, yes. Okay. What's his name? Gannon. Spell it for me. G A N N O N. And the last name? Stout. S T A U C H. Okay. I can barely drive. I got a car. I can barely drive. I have this information in here, and I'm going to give you, we have multiple questions we have to ask if we don't want to tie up an emergency line, so I'm going to give you our non-emergency number. Right, right, number that's to fine. Call. That's why I didn't know which number to call and say something. Yeah, no, that's okay. Let me know when you're ready for that number. Okay, go ahead. 719. Right. Can you, can you put this in your phone? 719. 390-390-5555. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. I, I call that now? Yep, call that now. I already have the call built, but we have multiple questions we need to ask. So um, just okay. call back and we'll pick up right where we left off. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Uh -huh. Bye -bye. Okay. Hi, Skinny. This is Katie. How can I help you? Hi, yes. Um, I called 911 um, and they said I had to call this number because uh, my 11 year old son was supposed to come home at 6 o'clock and he wasn't there. And they said he was supposed to come home at 6. Uh, but he didn't. I know it's only seven, but like we went to both his friend's house and they said he wasn't there. And it's kind of like feeding and stuff outside. Okay, what is your time address? It's 6627 Mandan Drive. I'm sorry, that was 6627 Mandan? Mandan, M A N D A N. What is your son's name? I'm sorry, what? What is your son's name? Gannon, G-A-N-N-O-N. What's his middle name? Jacob. And when was he last seen? Uh, maybe a 
around like uh, what time do you guys go? Oh. Uh, it's just three thirty, maybe three thirty between three thirty four and he was supposed to be that home at six. So we let him all the time, like go to the neighbor's house, friend's house, they ride bikes, do everything together. Okay. Does Ian have any nicknames? No. Yeah. Or G well G Man, but I mean that's kinda of like something the parents call him but not friends. And is he white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? White. How tall is he? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I really Can you just give me an approximate? Uh, I have four foot ten. How much does he weigh? Uh, 90 pounds. What's his hair color? Brown. And his eye color? Brown. What's his complexion? Uh, fair. Okay. Is he Hispanic or Latino? No. What's his date of birth? Um, nine twenty nine oh eight. My hands are shaking. I'm freaking out. That's okay. Do you know his social security number? Uh, not off the top of my head. It's in the house. It's okay. If you could just sign up for the next week, it's fine. Uh, Does he have any scars or marks? Oh, no. Uh uh. Any tattoos or piercings? No. Okay. Was he wearing any jewelry? No. Any glasses? No. No, no glasses. Okay. I mean, unless you love with your shades on, but I mean, I'm, you don't have glasses. Okay. And what was he wearing today? Uh, he had on a blue jacket, zipped up, pants, a jeans, and shoes, and shoes. Is he on any medications? He takes Vyvanse every day. Okay, what was that? He takes Vyvanse for ADHD every day. Okay. Does he have any medical, mental, or physical disabilities? And, and, you know, I mean, he did the physical counsel, so I mean, help for the ADHD, but that's it. Okay. Does he use alcohol or drugs? No. And does he have any injuries? No. Does he have any unique physical attributes? I don't think you need, um, no, just plain white boy, brown hair. Okay. Um, I, Do you have a photo of him available for the deputy? Yes. Yeah. yeah, And does he have a cell phone? He, he does, but we, we haven't found it in the house yet, so we're not sure if he had it. You know, he was using it earlier today. What's the phone number for that? Uh, hold on. My daughter's calling me. I'll give it in a minute because she went looking at the card. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, she didn't find in there. That's why I want to make sure before I had you do all this. All right, 
and then L Y N N C C L N 2006 at yahoo.com. Can I read the back phonetically make sure I have it right? Tom, Edward, Charles, Ida, Adam, Lincoln, Young, Nora, Nora, 2006 at Yahoo? Yes. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Uh, no. No, but uh, last night, he, okay, so there were some things happened last night, and today, weird with my husband, we can tell him the officer about or whatever, but I don't know that that would have been anything he would have been worried about. He's never been in trouble, straight-A student. Okay, so were there any suspicious circumstances today? Were there any suspicious circumstances today? He and he, uh, he, my husband messaged me earlier just in the day and said something like, uh, he was asking me about some friends wanting to play games, and then he started asking him about what was uh, bath salt. Just like, tell him how bad bath salt was and explain that. I talked to him earlier, so that was the only thing that was really weird at all. Okay. Okay. And what steps have been taken to locate him? So we went to the neighbor's house that he always plays with that we know really well. And we went to the other neighbor's house. My daughter just went to Stingray Park, and he's not there. Okay, is he associated with any gangs? Not, not that I'm aware of. Okay, and who was the last person to see him? Uh, I guess me. Okay. And where was he when he was last seen? He was in the house, and I was working out, and same routine every day. They have to play outside so many hours when it's nice before they get technology, and that was what he was supposed to be doing. Okay, and when he left, you know, was he on foot, or did he have a bike, a skateboard with him? Uh, well, his bike is here. Okay. He doesn't have a skateboard. Okay. Yeah, not here. Okay, and was he with anyone when he left? I don't I don't know that. I was in the house. Okay. I mean, my husband let them, you know, walk around the neighborhood with the rest of the kids and things like that. So I don't even know any of the parents. I had to call him to get them their address. Okay. And is he known to carry any weapons? No, not that I'm aware of. No, I don't think okay. so. Okay. Is there a history of violence or mental illness? Uh, no. Okay. All right, so that is everything that I need. As soon as I get that video available, I'll have them out to your address and make contact with you, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, that's the 911 call. Now, let's remove that, and here is the body cam foot. Okay. I took the covers that he was laying down, like had, and I just like threw it on there because I got my uh, daughter out and the dogs out. She was working, and it was it was something. Yeah, everybody know. I know. <laughs> it was something that we were just like. Yeah. Did he take his bike? No. Okay, so, okay, because somebody saw a little kid on a bike. They posted it, but I didn't know if he brought it. Well, back. he didn't, unless he took it sooner and brought it back because Lena ends up getting the bike. Okay. And yeah. rides the bike because hers had broke. When she ran into him, I say ran into him as in not, not physically, right. but she sw somehow got his bike because hers wouldn't work. So he could have been here. Okay. okay. Yeah. They were supposed to go pick for bike? dinner. Okay. Blue and, and black. Size of the camera. I don't know what's. I don't know why they did that on both sides. All, all you have is this little circle. Makes no sense to me. I thought he was at his friend's house. He was like, yeah. he just started sleeping. So we got, we have him on one. On okay. one and they he, were, he was we, never there. There's and one picture someone said he was on. Okay. And he was holding, he was making the switch. Do you mind if my so partner was, looks around the house real quick? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. kids, they hide. And thank they, you. They, oh, they, yeah, they yeah. get hide for hours. Yeah, no, we've already checked the camp like the. Is there, is there any other kids here? 
there's a yeah, there's kids here. I say kids. Here. There's a, my sister in 2000. Okay. Yeah, no, he's definitely he he, he was out there because they left and blah blah blah. So just tell me a time I know you said that he was you were y'all were gonna go get six. Yeah, so it was supposed to be come back here if you went down there. because I was correcting his uh, carpet thing downstairs. Okay. And, he, so he and he's free, like, my husband's like very more, like, more free than I am with the situation. I kind of always like, who's actually going to give me that number? That's how I was with her. But like, he's like, oh, I was in the neighborhood, you know, they can ride bikes, everyone's together type thing. So, um, yeah, so he, every, all the time they go and ride and meet her. That's how we do I should have put this cop in slow motion, man. He needs to slow down. I was going to ask if maybe they sped it up. Two standing and talking to her, and one doing this really thorough search. Yeah, we, we are that's, that's the master bedroom. See something real quick. See if you can see that gun on top of that chest of drawers right there whenever he hits out that flashlight. Well, when he gets in there. Sorry. All right. Not that one. It's up on top of. There was a pistol that was up. The gun was. Up literally sitting up on top of this, if you remember during the trial. Why don't turn lights on? I don't understand that either. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, oh. I mean, literally, there's okay. a switch, bro. Did I bring my thing in here? I think it might be in there. Now he's out in the garage, and that's where Gannon is at. He is somewhere out there in this garage. Well, we know he's in the suitcase, but will we see? Sir, I think it might be in the car. So whenever what 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 might be in your car? My he wants my ID. Oh, okay. It, was this the car you guys had with you today? Do what? Was this the car you guys had with you today? What do you mean with me today? I mean, did you drive this car today? Yes. Okay. No, 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 I didn't drive that car today. You did this not drive this car. Today. Okay, all right. No lights in the garage either, I guess. Has he ever hit in anything like this before? No, this is... No.
That's me stopping it, yo. Sorry, I'm just oh, okay, okay. watching okay. myself for the first time, and I'm just trying to see what I can see. I thought it was somewhere in this area, if I remember right from the trial. I thought it was somewhere obvious. Is there anybody down here? Is the other dog? Yeah, no, no, just no, one. no oh, one. No one. No one. Okay. I mean, no one is down there. Okay. <laughs> huh. It's my maiden name. So it's Harden, H-A-R-D-I-N. Now we're going downstairs. <laughs> I remember her saying that the guns were in a tote, but I don't remember what she said, what color. The long weapons. Must be Harley's bedroom. Okay, now we're downstairs. Okay, there's a tote. There's a red suitcase. But, or wait a minute, is that a suitcase? Isn't the green thing the suitcase? This? I don't see know. My, I can't see, see your cursor. Oh. Well, there, it looks blue to me, but there's... But you know what I'm saying? Like right in the middle on the floor? But that could be a tote. That's either a tote or a suitcase, but there's a red stand-up suitcase for sure. Yeah, that's, I that's see that. Right beside it. another tote oh, just boxes for a neat freak it sure is a mess I remember them finding blood 
on the hot water tank. Or whatever the furnace or whatever that is. Yeah, but isn't this just their precursory looking around, see if maybe he's hiding in corners, not necessarily looking for evidence of a crime? Well, yeah, right. They they didn't find that until days later. Right. So they brought the, when they brought the blue star in. He's looking down. It looks like a safe right there. That's toilet paper. Every time I pause, it's on a blurry one. There's a bunch of whatever that is. Water? I don't know what that is. COVID supplies? <laughs> oh another tote here and another tote here, another tote here. Well, if, if the kid, if the child did want to hide, he had all kind of places to do it, didn't he? Yeah. Three more totes stacked up there. And this is Gannon's bedroom. Did anybody see that little red dot in the bedroom yeah. that looks like blood? Yeah, I've seen that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I show him about the smoke stuff? I just didn't want to step on the cutter, the box thing. Yeah. I think I still had down there. Okay, because you weren't in here, you weren't in here in the beginning, right? I thought I had, I didn't know if I had that box cutter and all that stuff in there, because I told him about he dropped the candle last night. Oh, okay. And I was, I thought I must have picked it up. I was just making sure I didn't want you to be like, oh, just a box cutter. But yeah, I had to cut this. And I told them I wasn't even going to tell dad. And I was going to figure out a way to put this in there from the situation. But 
At least you got a carpet. Yeah, got a right, carpet. I just took it and like covered up with the carpet and stuff like that. But does, does he have any friends around here? Um, there is a. Let me look on this thing. He did have this one, like boat thing. That's where you're supposed to be at down the road. But they checked that already. They went over there and talked to him, and they're like, "No, we hadn't seen him at all." Oh, okay. He did have this, like, a... Uh... And you talked to parents, right? You didn't talk to... Yeah, Connor's mom came over, who sure. is a friend he goes, hangs out with all the time. Um, So they come over. The people here, the, the friends, they were just the ones that were the door with the bike. Okay. They came over. A bunch of people came over. Yeah, so... Any, any he friends? Did, he did have, like, a little book that had um, names on it, but I don't know... I don't see it, like, anywhere specifically. Because, like, his wallet... He doesn't, he's not like a, I teach fifth grade and like, you know, you got your like really, really chore, mature boy, kind of boys, but then what, waiting, he forgets to like bring this or bring that or bring this or bring that. You know? Still kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, so, clo no clothes are missing or nothing? No, we there. actually lay out all the clothes all the time. Like for, you know, like every day at school, we lay out clothes, we do whatever. Is his jacket gone? He had on a, we, he has several jackets. Like he might, it depends on, I'm, I'm very like fashion. So like, it, it just depends on jackets. Like he might have this black one with this. What she say? She's very what fashion? She's very like fashion. But it depends on, I'm, I'm very like fashion. So like, it, it just depends on jackets. Like he might have this black one with this, or there's a blue one with this. And... So he had a jacket. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Several jackets. Like, I mean, you see the kid has, you know, like tons and tons of clothes and he just, yeah. Okay. He has all that stuff, so. Okay. And he took, like, none of this. Um, like, these are his favorites. All of these things. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's going to grab some more questions. and. Okay. Um, How long have you guys lived here? Five minutes. Five minutes. Um, Maybe like a year and something now. Okay. Yeah. And you, you have talked to all of his friends' parents in the area? I, I'm not the person that talks to the friends. I don't have numbers. I don't say yes. I don't say no. My husband tells me yes or no. So he has all the numbers. So there could be some friends that you don't know. Right. Because I, I just don't, I don't know the people like that. And a lot of the time that I was here... I had to so a job on the East Coast, mm -hmm. so I had to fly back and forth for a lot. So I didn't really meet a lot of people, you know, like my husband did. And he's like, always wanting to be the one to talk to everybody about it. And so, well, how about your husband? Does he yeah. talk to these people? Yeah, he's been on the phone with a bunch of them. He's in Oklahoma, Fort Steele right now. Is there, um, is there anybody he hasn't been able to get a hold of? No, he said he's talked to everyone that he knows of. Um, the only concern we had is the he was talking about the friend with the older sibling. Mm -hmm. We don't know who that one is. That's the one we don't know. Do you guys have a name for that? This is Sergeant Hubble. That we, I don't, we don't know who that, that person is. We've never heard him say, like, specific name. And my husband said when we talked to him today that there was no, like, um, specific name for... But he didn't give him a name. He just told him no. So. And he took his, his game console bill. Yeah, they have a couple of different consoles. And one of them's gone. Switch, Switch Lite. They have a 2DS, a 3DS. One of them's gone. It was in like a, like a bluish black. Wait, no. That one might be in red. I don't remember. I just know in the video you can see that, or the picture that the lady had, you can see like the, like he's got something right here and it's like far down. Which picture is this? So some lady online had noticed it, like, like messaged us. And had noticed that that was uh, him or the description, and she was like, "Was that him?" And I was like, "Yes." Where, where was that picture taken? Um, I don't know. I, got, I honestly have about 150 Facebook messages that I haven't answered people on because you guys showed. Was me. it local? I mean, was it in the yes, Lorsen Ranch? Yes, in Lorsen Ranch. Someone put it on the Lorsen Ranch page, and so a lot of people just kept sending messages, information. First, someone said they saw him get in a white SUV. Then someone said they saw, they caught it on the camera. They were all supposed to be sending this to me. But as I was talking to all these people on Facebook, because my husband gave the neighbor permission to post it, mm -hmm. um, you guys came and I kept having alerts. Yeah. And I weren't going to like, mm -hmm. you know. Can you just let me this one's at the door? <laughs> 
Huh? Is that the door? Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know you probably gave some of this information to dispatcher already, but can you give us a description of him from top yeah, to bottom? Yes. So, um, hair color, eye color, any art? Yeah. So know? brown, brown, um, brown, brown, um, very pale, like uh, whitish color skin. I'm guessing he's at this house, um, but they don't. And then. Um, and the parents may not know. Um, there. and then yeah. well, they said that four ten. There was a weird text that Dad got about uh, something about bath pounds, salts. Maybe? And hey, if you uh, and if then I, I, if I that can get some bath salts, that. do we have any bath salts? Yeah, I, I, and my I, friend I, will let me play yeah, Sonic or something at their house. He sent that to his dad. Yeah. yeah, I got it. And then uh, Mom goes through everything, finds a like a like a well, this Parker. Yes. Sir. I'm not bad here. Yes. Yes. No, we're still getting the runaway report right now. Harley. Yeah. Did you get it? Who was it? Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Okay. I just didn't want anybody to know. There's people, neighbors, coffee. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he wanted to uh, what clothes would you wearing? Uh, blue jacket, blue jeans. That, that's what me and my husband absolutely think, and we think he blue jacket. Like, yeah. So we, we think that, and we've calmed our stress level down uh, after our four hour week. Like a thick, heavy winter jacket, a mm -hmm. sweatshirt, windbreaker. No, like the ones I was showing you guys in there, kind of like a little windbreaker type. Okay. Good to know. So okay. Perfect. Yeah. I'm mid, so I'll be on the line. No, they asked me about tattoos and earrings and, and <laughs> all just, that. Like I, so I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna okay. Perfect. Them a whole lot of the same questions that dispatch asks. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Right. Yeah. If you hear anything from the school, let us know, please. All right. Oh. Bye. Just Don Roy Cat. Yeah, we already talked to a bunch of people at the school. Yeah, they yeah. said had a security. Because so there was a game or something tonight, uh, and so that was like one of the things we were thinking. If um, I guess you know they went to like the basketball game or something. Uh, else, but. He said there was yeah. He said there was parks and rent going on. So huh? Smith. Yeah. yeah. What? It was the off duty. No. Oh. Oh, okay. She said he said somebody in the neighborhood or something. Does he have a dentist he goes to? You, if you guys want to call my husband, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We'll follow up because I mean, he might have a little bit more information. Things, yeah, and I don't do a lot of the. Okay. He does all that. How so. long has he been uh, over there stationed? He's not. He's stationed here. He's just at Captain, Captain Career Course. Okay. Yeah. So they go to a dentist. I think it's like Fountain Dentist, maybe. All right, we can Everything else is on base. We'll give him a call. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Al A L, Stouch S T A U C H. Phone number? 843-478-6714. Yes. Are we back on three? Yeah. I'm on three. Okay. They call the code. Cool. We'll give him a call. We'll try okay. some more information. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like, the medical dental, you yeah. know, like, he'll know, like, all that stuff because he takes them all base. All right, well, we'll go give him a call in the car real quick and see if we can get any information. That okay. We don't have and if not, we'll come back and um, or we'll give you a case number for okay. the runaway and everything. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. My dog's down here now. I didn't see him. Okay. I'm anal about lectures. We have gas and. I heard the dog the whole video. What do y'all think of that? Uh, 
if Tail pass you kind of watch before he starts a new one, watching that because we could see it better here. You can see all the time she was getting nervous and trying to direct them in different areas yeah. of yeah. the house. Yeah, she was trying to make, and she was also trying to make sure to try to keep them together as a group, I noticed. That way yeah. she could hear what they were all saying. Um, yeah. And yes, Teresa, she was rushing them out. And she is a nervous, laughing, and fast-talking woman. So I think they had their suspicions from just that. Yeah, they were... And somebody, if somebody knows for sure, I don't remember any blood being seen by the naked eye around his bed. But I may have missed that part in the trial. Well, it was a long trial and a lot of information. But I do rem I did notice that one spot. Right, but I mean, that, that was... That but I was, thought that um, the only blood you could see from the naked eye was the doors, the... Um, oh. Yeah, there was, li there was little bits here and there, but there wasn't right. any... There wasn't any around his bed to the naked eye until until they brought in and pulled and moved his bed out and pulled up the carpet and hit the well they actually hit the walls and stuff with the blue star and, and right if you watch the trial you'll you can see i mean it literally lit up like a christmas tree and after they pulled the carpet up there's literally a you can see where a puddle had, you know, had been there. Yep. Not not a nosebleed. No. White no. None of that. Not even that spot would have been just a nosebleed. Because it wouldn't have been just in that one little part and not like trailing. Right. What's, what's wrong, DA? Oh, she wanted to know if we could see her chats. I can see them. They're showing up in Discord. Discord. I'm okay. In StreamYard. In one of those things we use. Uh, yeah, I see a, I see a. I'm looking. Chat, chat. I haven't looked at the phone, but. Yep. She's there. Oh, sometimes, Dave, sometimes YouTube, Zulema doesn't like us, and she will, we will get error messages on our chat posts. Um, she, she bought everything that she needed to cover up the cleaning smell. Oh, me. yeah. Which, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but if you got to give some, if you got to give her credit for something, I guess she did get that part right. Because usually with a child being stabbed, beaten, and shot, and that amount of blood uh, it would take a lot of cleaning supplies, first of all, to clean it up. And then second of all, to get rid of that bleach cleaning supply smell. 
Oh, there absolutely is, Murray. There absolutely is. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so this next one is a walkthrough that they did, and we'll see what the date is on it because I forgot the lesson. So we'll start that. Sheriff's office. It is Wednesday, approximately 2 p.m. on February 25th. This is 6627 Man. So almost a month after he's been missing. Dan drive from the exterior. This is the gate that leads to the backyard of 6627 Mandan. That's the one, remember, that she said was unlocked, and that's very unusual. Yeah. As you can see, the gate is locked from the exterior side of the fence. By this time, by this time, he's not, he's not at the house. He's, um, out on that other highway out there somewhere until she gets him transferred to Florida. This is the front entry into 6627 Mandan Drive. This would be from the front door. This is the upper level of the home. There are two bedrooms, the kitchen and living room area, and a sliding glass door to the backyard, and then the laundry room area, which exits into the garage for this residence. To the right is the first bedroom. This would be the room White has bedroom. where Lena stays. As you enter the front hallway, you see that it opens up into the kitchen area of the residence. The kitchen does have a sliding glass door that exits to the backyard of the residence. We will exit that in a moment and show the other side of the gate from the backyard perspective. The living room area. Our main hallway. This enters into the master bedroom. Which has an attached bathroom 
and walk-in closet area. Moving back out towards the garage. The area in front of you is the laundry area. We'll move into the garage. Since we are in the garage, I will start with some points of interest. The four planks that you see on the ground are in the position they were during the first call when Gannon was reported to be missing. You can see that the tops of the boards have been sawed off. These were collected after a blood reagent called Blue Star was used on the ends of the four boards that had been cut and there was a positive reaction. That positive reaction gives us a presumptive that blood was present on those boards. On the garage floor, in the area that we're looking at between the broom, the cord, and the empty space on the floor, there were some blue star uh, reactions on the floor in this area. They were in the form of droplets. They were not very large. As we move from the concrete to the stairs, there was a blue star reaction on the stair showing a potential possible partial uh, shoe impression that again with it being blue star that reaction tells us it's presumptive for blood. Moving up into the laundry area the tile in the laundry room did have positive reaction to the blue star again telling us the potential presence uh, for blood they were small um, hits in the laundry area basically they were uh, droplet size not much larger than that if we close the laundry room door to the garage You can see that there is still blood on the door and on the door handle. 
This would be the door leading into the garage. We'll turn around in the laundry room. The last blue star hit of note was down at the baseline where the tile meets the carpet. It would be in your right hand side of the frame where the doorway begins and that frame for the doorway there was a hit with the blue star agent right where the carpet meets the tile and meets the threshold for the doorway that hit then led to us moving into the living room area again this was the upstairs living and kitchen room area you'll see the carpet area here the carpet area in focus had a reaction to the blue star the carpet appears ripped in this area that rip is for checking the underside of that carpet to look for saturation and there was none found the stairs were then tested with the blue star reagent there were positive hits on the stairs they were small drop patterns um, not much larger than uh, a quarter for most of the stains um, there was more of a reaction from the blue star showing that there was heavy cleaning going on the cleaning um, reacts with the blue star but it does not provide a, an immediate reaction it pr provides a slow illuminating reaction after some time which indicated to us that there was some cleaning um, of the stairs and this landing area prior to heading down the stairs there was luminol reaction on this landing you can see that the carpet is not in its proper position that carpet has also been pulled up underneath the carpet to check for saturation stains to the other side and none were located the baseboards around this landing did illuminate uh, when the blue star was applied um, showing that presumptive reaction for blood continuing down the stairs into the basement luminol or correction blue star was used um, on the stairs going down the blue star uh, reacted to the stairs again these were small hits quarter size and some significant cleaning this patch of carpet into the basement illuminated with blue star showing that there was a lot of cleaning going on in this area there was a very small single reaction to uh, blue star at the base of the table that again was about quarter size as we hit the bottom of the stairs this is the basement area of the residence If you continue around to the right, you will see that there is a closet. It's a storage closet. We have a bedroom down here all the way to the right. This would have been Harley's bedroom. We have another bathroom area. This bedroom has a closet attached to it.
Bit of another storage closet. In the living room we have the couch. The area removed from the couch was the area that candle wax was located. This was in the area for the Sunday night candle event where the candle was purported to be knocked over. When it was knocked over it ignited a fire in the carpet. The portion of the carpet that was originally cut out was in this area here. You can still see some of the padding where the burn mark for where the padding melted. This would be the area that the candle landed. While doing a search, the area next to the candle, Blue Star was used there was a positive hit, again being presumptive uh, for blood. So a larger portion of the carpet was then cut out uh, and retained so that that could be tested. Moving back in the basement, heading back to the stairs where you came down. Again, Blue Star reacted in this area showing a large cleaning event. We had a single hit over by this furniture leg about the size of a quarter. We come around to the hallway. We have a storage room and then if you continue to the right you have Gannon's bedroom. Prior, before going into Gannon's bedroom there was Blue Star used in the hallway. It reacted showing a small trail which led to the storage area. On the floor in the storage area you can see that there are several locations that have been marked with Sharpie. Those are areas that were illuminated with Blue Star and showed a presumptive for uh, blood that blood was present. There is a trail that leads back into the storage room towards the sump pump located in the corner. The trail ending at that box. All these boxes were removed. Blue Star was used on the entire room. It was just this particular trail that has been marked and highlighted that was located. There were no other presump uh, presumptive positives uh, for blood in the storage room. Backing out of the storage room, moving into Gannon's room. The room is normally set up so that the blue and red table is generally sitting underneath the window. This bed would be set up, ready to go. The second bed in the room would occupy this voided location, the southwest corner of the room. If you continue around in the room, there is a closet in the northeast corner of the room.
of note in Gannon's room is the large stain in the south east corner of the room. The markings that you see on the wall are marking spatter marks that were denoted by the Metro Crime Lab. Each of these stickers is indicating a blood spatter pattern that was uh, denoted and documented. The carpet had a large stain that saturated through the carpet, through the padding, leaving this stain on the concrete. For marking purposes, a red sharpie was used to outline the outskirts of the pattern showing you how large the pattern actually is. Over here you can see where the carpet and the padding what they would look like if they were present. Shoot. I will then reverse my steps, go back up to the living area. I will go out the sliding glass door and show you the reverse side of the side gate showing you that it does not lock from the interior that it locks from the exterior side and that will conclude the video tour at that point This would be the year, rear yard of 6627. This portion of the fence has recently been removed. It was not the original position of that fence during our initial walkthrough of the scene. This is the exterior of the side gate leading to the front of the residence. As you can see the rear side of this fence or interior side of this fence is not secured. It is secured by the padlock on the front side of the gate. This will conclude the video tour of 6627 Mandan Drive by Sergeant Hubble. Current time is approximately 2.23 p.m. Okay, so... Wow. I was saying the place was littered with blood, but you just couldn't see it with the naked eye. No, but that last walkthrough that you showed just really rammed it home. The stuff we didn't get to really see in the trial, it made it, not that it wasn't real before, but that just really made it like lady what did you do to this child the question is what didn't you do yeah i guess
she's right where she needs to be. Um, yes, she is. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that exact same thing in cam. <laughs> I was trying not to think that because that is where my mind went, but I have different reasons and we're not going into those. But it does look like the devil's neighborhood. So we'll wrap Close. this up we're, we're a little on coming up on an hour and a half. Um, all of it was video and not me bumping my gums. So that's always a plus. Um, like I said, I got it about, I don't know what time, four o'clock my time, Eastern Standard Time. I haven't even scratched the surface of it. Um, a lot of it will never be seen. I, I, I can tell you that. A, yeah. lot of, a lot of it will never be seen, at least not on this channel. And I know no. Plunder won't either. No. Um, I also wanted to say thank you again to Plunder and for to all of her folks who are subscribing to us and if you've been with been with me from the beginning if you haven't subscribed to plunder uh, please do please do yeah Jeez. we appreciate all the new docketeers and all the og docketeers absolutely absolutely um and Thank you, Mods, for holding this down because my brain wasn't quite all there. Just on a quick note, um, this was not free, guys. We did put some coin into this. Um, if you can buy one burger, you know, every $2 helps. If you can be a member for a buck a month, you know, every every penny helps. Um, and I have more coming. I have more coming. Um, but they're not real happy with me right now in Colorado. So. Yeah. Well. It'll all work out in the end. I will I will continue to break this down with stuff that we can show and do lives with. Um, probably do another one tomorrow because I'm sure I'll be up all night going through all of There's literally zip files in it that I haven't even unzipped. I don't know what on there. So I have, I'm going to have to go through and look. Um, yeah. uh, what, what, what dentist are you talking about, Janet? Um, anything new on the dentist? Um, James Craig. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not not a thing. Uh, the battle right now in that is about his kids, and we can't get access to any of that. Trust me, I've tried. It's not from a lack of effort. No, and family court's not going to release records, and there's reasons for that. So, right. But the minute we have news on any of the ones we cover, we'll let you know. 
Cool. Um, Teresa, you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button on YouTube and make sure your notifications are turned on. If you want to help support the channel, that's donations. Tom Vaughn posted the links to the three ways that um, we accept donations. And in the coffee app, there's also a monthly membership. It's like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars a month. Kind of like a YouTube channel membership with out all the YouTube garbage. Right. That so if, that you, right. <laughs> if, you, if you click on my the coffee app, either on Twitter or at the top of my YouTube channel up there where Venmo is and the Cash App icons are at the top right, it, it should give you access to my coffee app page where if you want to become a member, you just click on member. And like I said, there's three tiers, a, 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 buck, a dollar a month, $3 a month, or $5 a month. And it's not for profit. We, no. don't do, we don't do anything for profit on this channel, but you know, Plunder and I did spend some coin on this. We spent some coin on this. Um, yes. So again, and then I'll shut up if you if you if you're able to, you know, every burger or every one dollar membership helps to cover case dumps like this and to cover documents because they're not free in Utah. They're not free in Colorado. They're not free in almost any state. Right. Um, somebody asked anything about which Wagner was it? Let me scroll back real quick. George the third. Dad. Bill, Billy's is next year. And not an exact date set yet, but he does have a motion hearing coming up August the 30th. I actually got that document yesterday, and you know what? I forgot to put that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm assuming that it's about his, because he has filed for a change of venue. I'm assuming that's what it's about, but even the document doesn't explain what it's about. Um, and the other question, why do, why do I think, there's two reasons because I've done some research on it yesterday on that whole interstate compact um, deal that we have with some states about out of state, transferring out of state inmates. Um, it can only happen two ways. One is he has to request it, which I'll guarantee you he didn't do. And the other two is the state has to do it. Um, but my the reasoning for it is for his own protection because it's such a, such a high profile case. Okay, so this is the one that's already been convicted, right? Yeah. Yeah, they transferred it. The, okay. I've been watching. Oh, they did transfer him out? Yeah, I've been watching Ohio's DRC site to see what prison he was going to end up here because I figured he would. I figured at minimum, he would be right here at Lucasville, the one I worked at. But right. they transferred him to uh, maximum security in Rhode Island. Um, okay. So kind of like what they did with Chris Watts. Yeah. By taking him from Colorado and putting him in Dodge in Wisconsin. 
so he can be buddy buddies with Daryl Brooks. But, um, yeah, GW4 is in Rhode Island. He was actually transferred, according to Vine. I put all this information out on Twitter yesterday. Um, he was actually transferred May the 5th. So he's been in Rhode Island for well over a month. And nobody knew it until yesterday. Well, I'm sorry. They need to move him. That's too close to where I live. The, the thing about it is there's <laughs> only there's only 466 beds at that prison where he's at. And now, granted, it's labeled as where they put the worst of the worst in Rhode Island. Yeah. And, and the ones with the longest sentences. But, you know, on average, here at Lucasville, we average close to a couple thousand inmates. And we were maximum security. We're the only maximum security prison in Ohio. Um, oh, wow. So he went... I mean, to where there's only 466 beds just blew my mind. Well, Rhode Island's not exactly a humongous state. Well, no, but still, that's a really known low amount of inmates to, to house. Well, maybe it's the worst of the worst, and they may have other prisoners from other states. I mean, I'm just speculating on that, Janet. I think it was Janet that asked. I mean, I don't know factually. Nobody knows factually because DRC isn't speaking. I did, oh, I did confirm that. He is in Idaho because I emailed their ass yesterday as soon as I, I emailed that prison as soon as I found out about it. And I actually got the got the email from him back today. Wait, who's in Idaho? I said Idaho. I'm in Rhode Island. Okay. Don't confuse me, dude. It's late. <laughs> Get, let me get on the right email account. It's just a short, a short response from them. I'll just read it to you real quick since somebody did ask about it. Okay. It's sent on behalf of Chief Deputy Legal Counsel. Counsel. Diane Daigle, Esquire, in, in response to your recent APRA request. And it says, Whoa. Whoa. What are you the, doing? I I gotta pull it back up. Okay, it says, well. we are in receipt of your request dated June 22nd, wherein you requested the George Wagner new prison mug shot. Please be, please be advised that your request is denied pursuant to the following exceptions. Um, it was personnel and other personal individually identifiable records otherwise deemed confidential 
by federal or state law or regulation or the disclosure of which would constitute a clearly unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. As records maintained by a law enforcement agency for criminal law enforcement and records relating to the detection and investigation of crime. Specifically, these records are not public when disclosure of the records or information is possible could reasonably be expected to constitute an unwarranted invasion of privacy. And then it says if I want to file a um, whatever it's called, if I want to send to somebody above them, which I'm not doing that. Oh, they, they confirmed what I just wanted to confirm factually for myself. Um, so he is in Rhode Island. Okay. Good um, for him. So Christy wants to know how she can, or I'm sorry, Robin wants to know how to join Discord. And I told Robin I would DM her on Twitter, but until I get the permanent link, if you go to the Dockets YouTube page, go to the About section, scroll down to the bottom, click on Discord, and it will take you to the Welcome section, and you can join. And I know I've been promising this, but I have... Something I have to do tomorrow night, but Sunday I will sit down and do a quick how to Discord video. Um, I actually, I could do, do a live and walk people through it that want to learn that way too, but. I didn't know anything about Discord either, y'all. But trust me, once you once you play around with it for a half hour or forty five minutes, I mean, there's it, there's nothing to it. So don't let it overwhelm you. I mean, you can ask. No. You can ask all my mods. I mean, I'm I struggle with with. Uh, other platforms. No, um, Discord is really easy. We have very few rules, but we have specific rules. And I'm not afraid to tell you and gently remind you where to go and help you as to where each discussion should be. And we're still in our infancy and I'm working on... Um, you know, refining it. And Teresa, I don't have a channel, but I will do a live on Eric's channel because I'll just hijack it from him. Because <laughs> you like, I don't even ask him. I just, dude, I'm hijacking your channel today to do a quick live on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I still got a long night ahead of me, so we're going to wrap this up, and we'll do a live tomorrow. I don't know what time. Um, Kathy, if you can't make it, we'll 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 make it happen. Um, you can't do this without me. No, you can't. I know I can't tie you guys up every day, but well, I have it actually. I Tom and I have a dinner date at 7 p.m. tomorrow night with my sister-in-law. So if you want to do it earlier, that's great. Or if you want to do it after I've had a couple cocktails and get home, that's fine too. <laughs> um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure what time, um, but if I do do one, I'll make it, I'll make it before that. And it's all going to depend on you know, how much I get done tonight, you know, as far as how long it'll be. Like I said, there's, there, 
there's just still so much stuff to go through. So just well, keep maybe your we plan it for Sunday then. Well, we're gonna do one Sunday too. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> never mind. I, that's, then. that's that's what I'm saying. There's so much information in here in this doctor that what? we you know we'll we'll knock out as much of it as we can this weekend because okay. we gotta start we gotta start getting getting ready for three trials next month. Um, yep. so I will I will get started as soon as we get done here and um, keep your everybody check your notification buttons and make sure they're set to all and please hit the thumbs up button. Yep. And everybody have a rest. Have a great rest of your Friday night and we will see you all tomorrow. Thanks and guys. Thank you mods. Yeah. Thank you, Mont. And if I can't be here, Eric, you do have my permission to do this without me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be. It, it might end up that way because if I'm up all night and then would happen to fall asleep in the afternoon, it could end up being like a six or seven o'clock live. <laughs> it, just, it just all depends. It just all depends. So. But it's, we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. It's okay, dude. I'm just funning you. I know. I know. Uh, all right, everybody. Good night, sweet dreams. Wait, deep. Thanks, guys. Bye.